Well, we have made a couple player moves, and they're actually on today's squad, so that's why we're going to take a look at them now. First is Omar Emery from Angaragushu in Turkey. Now, we got him for a song, 60,000 pounds, because they were in such financial troubles, they were willing to take almost anything we offered, and 60,000 was the minimum they would take. So that's what we went with. He is an advanced midfielder, can play all three positions, can also play the right side. Physically, he's not too bad. The balance and jumping reach are a little bit on the low side, as are the stamina and strength. Mentally, he's pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of the five determination, but I can live with it. Technically, he's very good. 14 crossing, 11 dribbling, 12 first touch, 11 passing, 12 technique. I, you know, I, I brought him in, even though I have wrist off on the advanced midfielder on the right, I wanted someone who could come in and play all three positions if I didn't start him. He and Ristoff will be switching out on the advanced midfielder on the right for most of the season. And then should anything happen to Abaz, um, he can go there as well. In a pinch, he can play defensive right back if I need him to. So he, he's handy there. The only drawback was I had to pay him 3,000 pounds a week to come here. So he is now officially the highest earner on the squad. His contract expires in two years, which is another reason I was okay with signing him with that because I'm fully expecting by that time uh, Ristoff will be near or at his full potential and will be at least as good as or better than Emery. And so losing him will not be a huge blow. Uh, next in, Amel Rostomowski comes in on a free transfer. He was at, where was he at? Uh, he was at Will in Switzerland. They were actually one of the squ they were actually the first squad that came to me and said, "Hey, interview for our jo interview for our job opening here." And I said, "No." So I, I would have had him there. Um, looked back too far. He is an advanced midfielder on the left who can also play striker in advanced mid and can also play midfielder in a pinch. Physically, pretty good except for the strength. Mentally, he's kind of all over the place. The five aggression, four bravery is is not the best. But everything else is a little bit on the low side. But his work rate is nice. His off the ball is nice. His flair is actually pretty good. He's not the best crosser. He's an okay dribbler. His finishing and first touch are nice. His passing is okay. His technique is good. So 24 years old. He's here at 775 pounds a week. He's one of those guys. He came out on a fringe player contract. So he'll be on the bench more often than not to come in and take over either for Vodic or a boss. So today we're playing Pugan. We got Gusevsky in goal. Tosevsky, Bosanovsky, Andonovsky, and Jankalov is the defensive back four. Gusevsky is the ball winning midfielder in the defensive mid position with Marathi and Nikolev up front. A boss and a Mary is the attacking mids and Bodic up top as the striker. Um, we had a game a couple days ago against Skopje. No, Gostovar. We beat them 2 0 thanks to goals by Marathi and Omeri. Was Omeri's first uh, game back in the Macedonian League, and he scored. So, Hogan's got a good team. I'm just, I'm, I, I just want to have a good match. I don't want to get destroyed. You know, if we have another series like we did against Drew Gardens, I'm okay with that. You know, as long as we don't get blown out. <laughs> I can't pronounce that guy's name. Triniant. Nikolev driving forward. Oh, Marathi. Oh, he towed it too high. It goes over the crossbar. Good chance wasted. They're not counting that as a shot. That's interesting. Skoponsky and Anofsky heads it away. Vadish is going to pick it up. Chess it down. Feeds a Boz. A Boz holds it up. Centers it to Vadish. Vadish gives it, tries getting it back to a Boz. He recovers it. Marathi takes the shot, puts it far post. It was an interesting sequence. A Boz lost the ball. It went to a Pagan player, and then he got it back. Hopefully we'll see that in the replay. Yeah, Harit slide tackled and kicked the ball away, but it went right back to Marathi, who got it to Abbas, who got it to Marathi. I think it was Marathi. Skoponsky. Oh, St. Louis, a very nice header, but right at Gusevsky. A good stop by the keeper. He bangs it forward to Boz. Nice first touch. Driving forward. Doesn't really have a lot of help yet. Marathi. 
Bodic, and he scores. Upper right corner. I lost him in the crowd because of the graphics glitch. And I know I know it's related to the North Macedonian glitch because my other save that I'm doing, the I'm still playing Crystal Palace offline. Um, there's no graphical glitches like that. The only thing that's changed between the two is the North Macedonian League thing. So I'm not exactly quite sure what's going on, but at the end of the day, I'm okay with it. Jakob, Dabrowski, so, uh, San Luis picks it up. Breaks left. Gets it back to Zorowski. Over to Dabrowski. Sligowski. Krianta. Jakob. Back to Krianta. Dabrowski. Harut. Long pass. Zorowski's there. Takes the shot. Slides it past the diving Gusevsky. Was he off sides? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Kapanski. And he hit it too far. Gosevsky and I stop. Oh, nice pick. Nice kick. And Mary picks the ball up. Probably centering it for Vodic, but too many Pogon players in the way. Abaz picks up the header. To Nikolev. Beats Marotti. Marotti gets it back to Tosevsky. Tosevsky loses the ball. Jabrowski picks it up. Oh, what a misplay by Jabrowski. What an absolute error. He tried passing it back to the keeper, and Vodic was right there. Tosevsky's dispossessed. Jabrowski picks it up. And for some reason decides he's going to short kick it to the keeper. And Vodic was right there. What an absolute error. Testor throws it in. Skoponsky. Zorowski. Order to Zorowski. Back to Zorowski. Herrett. He holds it up. Oh, nice block by Tosevsky, I believe that is. Dabrowski. Back to Nikolev. Or Herrett picks it up. Oh, loses the ball. And Mary. Back to Jankilov. And Anofsky back and forth. Masevsky out to Marotti. Marotti up into space. Vodic. He got there, but he hit it too far. The keeper came out. There were too many bodies in the way. Vodic couldn't capitalize on it. Soglowski. Sikoponski. Back to Soglowski. St. Louis there, but he hits the crossbar. And that is halftime with a 3-1 lead. Seven shots, four on target. We're doing pretty well. We're winning more tackles and we're winning more of the game. We're winning more of the headers. Harrett on the throw in. Back to Gabauer to Harrett. Dabrowski. Back to Harrett. Dabrowski. Gabauer. Beats Zahovic. So he'll look back to Gabauer, to Herrett, to Browski. Now they're just playing keep away at the moment. They're waiting for a break. So far, we don't seem to be biting. Soglowski beats Sohovic. Back to Kuhn. Zorowski. Zahovic ends up with it. Feeds Gabauer. And, Z oh, Gusevsky, a nice save. About 60 minutes in. You know what? We're going to make a substitution here. Gusevsky's looking a bit gassed. Or not Gusevsky. Yeah, Gusevsky. No, Marathi, rather. He's looking a bit gassed. So we're going to place him with the Boz. Our boss is going to move back to the center mid position, and we're going to bring on Rustamowski. We're going to bring on Ristoff for a Mary. And we're going to bring on Tosevsky for Nikolev right now. I'm not a huge fan of that, given the number of yellow cards we have, but 
We're playing this game three days after our last one. We need all the help we can get. Tosevsky knocks the ball away. Some good defense. Kuhn to Zahovic. Kosevsky, nice pickup on the ball. Bangs it forward. Bodish can't get ahead on it. Stapicha rolls the ball out to Trianta. Gebauer to Hart. Soglowski back to Gebauer. Oh, he gives the ball away. Rostomowski back to Stasevsky. Long pass up into space. No one's there. Jakob ends up with it. Gets the ball to Zorowski. To Kuhn. Zestor. Zorowski. To Kuhn. That was a Zahovich. Gusevsky came out. Zahovich turned, turned him on it. It was a good move by Zahovich. Oh, kickoff highlight. Bozanowski and Danowski. Pilevsky. Tosevsky, rather. Tumasevsky. Bodich. Oh, he gives the ball away. Gusevsky. Some interesting animations going on with keepers lately. Gives the ball away. Trianta. He lumps it forward. Bozanowski to Abaz. Abaz out to Ristoff. Ristoff sends that into low earth orbit. Good gracious, kid. What are we doing with this Route 1 stuff? Zahovich to Kuhn. And Gusevsky, a nice stop. Jankilov bangs it forward. Sester's going to pick it up. The highlight is over. I got to look at the tactics of why on earth. And we're equalized. Zahovich, so goal off the set piece. This is distributed. You know, we're going to distribute the playmaker. And we're equalized. Kosevsky. Bozanowski. Kosevsky to a Boz. Over to Rostomowski. He feeds Bodich. Bodich to Kosevsky. Over to a Boz. A Boz takes the shot. Well done. That was some excellent, excellent ball movement by us. That was clinical. Wow, that was just, that was beautiful. Oh, and they hit it over the crossbar. Last chance. Harrit, Gebauer, Smolinski, Skugowski. Oh, Jankloff knocks it away. Ristoff heads it forward. Sester runs it down. Blow the whistle, ref. Smolinski. Jankloff heads it out of bounds. Come on. Sester on the throw, and Tosevsky just bangs that out of bounds. Blow the whistle, ref. Sestor. Smolinski. Sestor. Zahovich over the crossbar. Get too old for these sorts of games. And we win 4-3. Despite 26 shots, 10 on target for Pagan. Our 16 and 8 were enough to see us through. They had two woodwork hits. Two clear-cut chances to our one, seven and a half chances to our three. A decent possession advantage, but our defense was strong when we needed to be. And we did really good on the counterattacks. That last goal especially was really, really nice. Let's save this here real quick. Marati a goal. Vodic a brace. Abaz a goal. Okay. So we have Scoopy and then Pogon again. So we're going to be back for that game in just a bit. Well, we beat Scoopy in a pretty fun game. 6-3 in front of 13,547 people. It's the largest crowd we've had. It's set a record. Mary had a brace of goals. Uh, Maradi a goal. Masevsky a brace of goals. <laughs> Liesel had a goal as well. This was just one of those games. It was fun to watch. It really was. It was a lot of back and forth. They had 17 shots, 8 on target. We had 23 and 13. Our XG was 4. Their XG was 1.89. 
and it was just you know the goal they got in the ninety second minute was yeah it, it it was one of those things. But other than that, it was a very close game. Like I said, it was fun to watch, and Mary's been a really good pickup for us so far. I don't know what the heck. I mean, he's been here two games, and he's got three goals. So, you know, you can't shake that with this. You know, we can't. What am I trying to say? You can't beat that with a stick. So the only drawback is uh, more than a few players are not entirely up to speed as a result, because despite the fact I did next to no training in between the games, some of the guys are a bit gassed. The biggest one being a Boz, so we're going to get Rustamoski on. So this is what we're looking at. Kasevsky in goal. Tosevsky, Vaj, Bosnovsky, and Jankalov is the defensive back four. Masevsky is the defensive mid behind Maradi and Adnovsky. Rostomovsky and Mary as the advanced mids. And Vodic up top as the striker. It's a good game. No matter what, we're still in European football. Tosevsky. Masevsky on the throw-in. Feed Rostomovsky. He gets it to Adnovsky. And he hits the crossbar. Whoa. What a missed chance that was. Bobak on the throw in. Zohovic. Back to Bobak. Zohovic. Dabrowski. Bobak. Dispossessed, but he's going to get it back. Crosses it in. Bozinski knocks it away. Dabrowski back to Bobak. Crossed in again. Jankilev knocks it away. Zorowski recovers. Kostyevic. Zorowski crosses it in. Tosevsky knocks it away. Dabrowski to Bobak. Tries crossing it in. Bounces it off of Vardar player. Bobak gets it back. Zorowski's there. Hits the crossbar. And loses the ball eventually. And Mary up to Andonovsky. Andonovsky drops it up to Jankilov. And the highlight ends. That was a long sequence of events that could have ended up very, very badly. Tosevsky. Bombs it forward again. Even though I told him to distribute it to playmakers, he bombs it forward. I'm going to encourage the squad here. Destor. Kostovic. Kuhn. Kostovic. Zorowski. Kostovic. Zohovic. Oh, Soglowski got between the defenders and Gusevsky a very nice save. Mary. Oh, knocked away. Kostovic tries getting it to Kuhn. He does. However, we get a couple players back. However, Soglowski was on the left, and he scores. That was disappointing. Defender gave him too much space. Mary and Anoski just wide right. And that is halftime. Pogrons had six and two. We've had seven and one. They've had quite the possession advantage. Sevsky on the throw in. Rostanovsky. Cuts inside. Over to Andonovsky. Out to a Mary. Mary gives the ball away to Kuhn. What a bad pass. Sestor back to Stapika. Stapika. He just lumps it forward. Jenkloff. Up into space. Knocked down, but Sestor ends up with it. After some back and forth, Prianta just knocks it forward. Bozanovsky dwells on the ball a little bit. Could have lost that. Masevsky, Bodic, Marotti. Out to Tosevsky. Tosevsky centers it. Andonovsky's there, and we equalize his first goal of the season. It's a very nice assist by Tosevsky.
not a lot the keeper could do there. Okay, 60 minutes in, we've got to make a couple of changes. We're going to get Marathi off and bring on Nikolev. We're going to get Bosnowski off and bring on Bosnowski. We're going to bring a Boz on as well. I can't remember if Boz can play the right. He kind of can, but he's better off on the left. Rostomowski is better off on the left. So Boz is just going to stay here. But I'm going to make him a winger. Baj to Nikolev. Rostomowski. Bodic heads it forward. No one there in a Vardar uniform, though. It's Topeka. Jankolev heads it down. Baz feeds Bodic over to Nikolev. Out to Rostomowski. Back to Tosevsky. Tosevsky crosses it in. A Baz off the crossbar. Got a lot of players who are gassed, but nine more minutes and we can hold out. Uh, yes! Oh! Philip Andonovsky goal sees us through. So, what is next? Well, I know the transfer window closes tomorrow. We'll take a snapshot of the team for the baseline, see how they improved, if any, over the offseason and the training so far. Oh. Received 235000 And Anoski was really good. Stefsky received two point eight five million for qualifying for the group stage. Question is, does that go immediately to our budget? I can't ask for the training ground to be upgraded because I've already asked for the training ground to be upgraded. Let's improve the youth recruitment. Okay, the transfer window is officially closed. We have not picked up any more starters. I picked up a couple of youngsters because they looked interesting. Uh, Serdan Zafari. Is a youth player, striker. He's half one star current ability, two and a half star potential ability. He's 19 years old. I need a depth on the under 18s more than anything else. And then same thing with Flato Jovanovski, but he is 15 years old. He's got some interesting attributes about him. The physicals are are pretty good for a 15 year old. The mentals are kind of all over the place, but the 14 determination is nice as is the 12 Bravery. He's got an 8 marking and a 10 tackling so far as a defensive mid who could be a ball-winning midfielder. I think he's got some potential for us. So we've got the group draw coming up. Okay. Wow. Okay, we've gotten a lot farther than I thought we would. I would have thought we would have lost to your gardens. And that first, that first um, game against Pogon was what really helped us. Getting the three away goals was just absolutely. Okay, Ten players called up. Sefsi and Amiria on the senior squad. Alyoski, Marina on the under-19s. Ananovsky, Nikola, Vodish, Bozovinsky, and Tosevsky on the under-21s. Griffin Watton got called up for the Gibraltar under-21s. Review the draw here. So we got Slavia Prague, Atalanta, Braga, Sevilla, Sporting, Sporting, Ajax, Rangers, Napoli, Victoria, Anderlecht, AZ, Besiktas, Marseille, Sparta Prague, Copenhagen, and Monaco. Then Red Star, Ludogorets, Newcastle, Mainz, Antwerp, Kevin Spore, Frank Varos. Hertha Berlin. Borskla ends up in Group A. Fenerbahce ends up in Group B. We are in Group C with Braga, AZ, Newcastle. We're going to get thumped.
and that's fine. We might we might steal a draw here. I doubt we'll get a win. All of all those squads are head and shoulders better than we are. I mean, the best we can do is hope for a draw. I think you know we might get a miracle like one nil victory. But the rules here are. You know, 176,000 per draw, 529,000 per win. If we finish third, we go to the Euro Cup 2 first knockout round. I don't see that happening. If we finish fourth, there's quite a bit of TV money in that involved. This is Euro Cup 2, so we'll see. We'll draw everything here and see what happens. Some really good teams there, too. Farbog, Vipi Stuttgart, Feyenoord. We were handed a tough group. I am okay with that. Let's save the game here again real quick. This is actually not bad, but it just means it means a lot of games coming up. Now, I like to play every team in our group at least once. But I think how this is going to shake out, what we're going to do is this. We're going to come back for Newcastle and Slaga. And then probably come back for AZ and Academica Pandev. And then come back for Ghost of Art or Braga. Or something around here in Braga. Because if we win in the cup match... Cup quarterfinal is going to be at the end of November. And that's here. It'll probably be moved because of the cup game. So that's that's the plan. So, wow. Yeah. A really, a really good series against Pogon. The 4-3 the really saw us through. And Andonovsky's goal was was key. Game against Scoopy was brilliant as well. So we're we're doing really well this season. The the thing now, as I mentioned it last at last episode, we're at that phase where the teams we're playing now are, are that much better than us. We'll get there eventually. I firmly believe a lot of it's going to be the homegrown players developing over the next couple of years. But if we can keep having performances like this, the money is going to go a long ways into helping us get better. We need the training facilities to come up. I'm hoping we can increase increase the youth recruitment. And as long as we, we're financially stable, I'm pretty okay with that. For the moment, we are financially stable. We got 4.19 million in the bank. And that's pretty good. So that's it. If you did like what you've seen and heard, please have a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments, leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. Uh, what do you think the over under on how many games we're gonna win the group stage is gonna be? I'm gonna put it at one. I think we're gonna steal one from somebody. I don't know who, but that's what I think. And I'm a pessimist when it comes to such things like that. So, we'll find out. My name is FM Jellicoe. Thank you very much for watching.